Poker Tonight is brought to you by UB.net. Raise, stack, own. Welcome back to Poker Tonight. I'm Joe Seabach, and you all know Scott Huff, and our guest today is six-time WSOP bracelet winner and two-time Montana State arm wrestling champion Lane Flack. All you need to know right now is there was a challenge issued and a challenge accepted. So you guys ready to get into this? Let's do it. All right, let's assume the ready position down here. You're the two-time Montana State champion. I'm the three-time Boca Raton JCC arm wrestling champion K through five. So I'm just letting you know that off the bat. I'm just letting you know you get a spot. All right, All right we'll boys. start from here. I've seen over the top. I'm employing everything I know. <laughs> three, two, one, go. <laughs> that was, of course, from when Lane Flack stopped by to demoralize me in arm wrestling, <laughs> one of 12 in-studio guests we had this year, Joe. All right, I have a couple questions. Mm -hmm. Was that at all painful? Absolutely. <laughs> did you think you actually had a shot at any point? No. <laughs> and did you even really try? I want to say that I didn't try because I just, it was horrible. It didn't seem like you did. No, I didn't. That's what I meant to say. No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't try at all. Well, arm wrestling with Lane Flagg wasn't the only fun and games we had with our guests. Check it out. All right, Lon, while we have you here, we wanted to play a little game with you because, as we all know, in poker, the cards are important, but uh, what's just as important is knowing your opponent. Right. And you have a lot of opponents out there in the uh, poker TV world. <laughs> I don't want to call us opponents yet. I don't feel like we hold a candle no, to you. No, we can't. So this is a game we like to call Know Your Opponent, and we're going to see how well you know the other guys in poker TV. Okay. All right. Which <laughs> poker commentator is famous for the phrase, May all your cards be live and your pots be monsters. Oh, I tried to use that on the show one time when he, when he won the Tournament of Champions. Of course, our new Hall of Famer, Mike Sexton. There you go. Good one. That's correct. Which poker commentator starred in an episode of the show Cuts, which you've probably never heard of, where <laughs> Shannon Elizabeth was forced to play against him for the deed to her hair salon? So it was, a, it was an actor type person, huh? Am I thinking? Smart. Uh, That's good. Uh, You're on the right trail here. Would it be Chad? Chad Brown? Not Chad Brown. That's a good guess, though. Who else was an actor? Gosh, I have no idea. Vince? Vince Van Patten? Vince Van Patten is correct. Oh, okay. VVP. Oh, wow. <laughs> VVP is the only actor that I know. I <laughs> Which poker commentator appeared on multiple episodes of the Captain and Tennille show? Oh, uh, probably, I guess, Gabe Kaplan? That's correct. Two, that? two for okay. three is pretty yeah. decent. Two for three is I'm going to count VVP as a win, by the yeah. way. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, how many wives has Norman Chad had? Oh, see, that's a trade secret. <laughs> that is a trade secret. Uh, but he married his third at, actually at the uh, main event final table two years ago, the wow. night before the event. You there would you think go. he had 100. I thought he had 19 <laughs> minimum. <laughs> minimum 19 for the amount Just of Just 19 points. in the wings. <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as we're talking blackjack, we have come up with a game that we would like to play with you called oh. Black or Jack. Now, these are very serious blackjack questions. Or not. They're actually, yeah. anything has <laughs> either the word black or jack in the answer. These are not easy questions, though, and we'll see how you do. Are you ready? I guess so. You understand <laughs> the game. You can't be banned from the set for this. What is the name of the cheating scandal that rocked the 1917 Baseball black World Sox. Series? And I don't even need to finish the question. <laughs> black Sox is correct. Wow, that's impressive. All work and no play make this man a dull boy. Jack. That's correct. Jack is correct. I thought the simpleness was going to throw was you. any other Jack something. <laughs> Make black. I knew it was Jack. It's from The Shining, which I'm pretty sure took place at Foxwoods. Mm, right. <laughs> uh, speaking of creepy, this thing might end with making a clown's head or your lunch pop out. Jack in the box. You're that is correct. Funny. The game's not fun when you completely crush it and dominate. All right, bonus double down question. This rocker, actor, comedian is popular for coining such phrases as skadoosh and come on a yeha. Jack Black? Jack Black is correct. <laughs> Double points. A few weeks ago, we had Mike the Mouth Mattiso in studio, and he did a segment for us called Mikey's Meltdowns, where we showed a clip of Phil Hellmuth bluffing him with a seven deuce on the set of High Stakes Poker. Now, Mike's full explanation of that clip just couldn't quite fit into that episode, so here it is for you now. Our meltdown this week comes to courtesy of Mr. Phil Helmuth Jr. and the stupid deuce to seven rule from High Stakes Poker. It's to rule when if you win a hand with a seven deuce and show it, everyone has to pay you 500 bucks. Well, Phil took advantage of me and he decided that he was gonna play it against me and bet into my pocket kings on every street. And like he had the stone cold nuts. But you know what? The main reason he did it is he knew I only had one bullet and he was gonna try and take advantage of me by bluffing me. 
and that's the main reason why he did it, because that's the main reason why I folded, because if he didn't know I only had one bullet, the idiot would have never made the spot, the, the play against me, and I wouldn't have had to fold it. And I needed to stay on high stakes poker for the whole entire season, and that's why I folded it. I went on to win 176,000. That idiot went on to lose 176,000. Have a nice day, Mr. Hellmuth. Uh, take that. What do you got there, Mikey? But I'm afraid whatever he bets, Mike's going to call him. About uh, 65,000. 40,000. Wow. Oh. Mike's got a call. Just call. I know Phil never makes a big bet on the river unless he has it. That's the thing. This sucks. No, he hit a two outer on me. There you go, Phil. Oh, turns the kings oh, over, throws him away, <laughs> and here it comes. Oh, oh my! That was the only thing I thought. That was the only thing I thought. That was the only thing I thought. He either had do seven. Oh, 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 seven game is a lie. How can he fold kings that is so? It's a new game today, boys. It's a new game. Let's well, that was go. the only thing I was thinking is either he had to do seven. You finally have respect, right there, right there. That gave you a lot of respect. I finally have respect. Yeah. I crushed everybody in the world at no limit for 20 years in side games and cash games. I finally have respect. Hey. All right, well you lost it. Okay, you had it there for a second. Now you lost it. I, don't, I think he still owes you 500. I knew he had it. I knew one of them had do seven. Mike, I, I said, it had to be him in the head. Mike, you're going to look like a genius. Don't worry. Mike, 500. The best thing about that hand is how you throw the face up. That was the best. You, I ain't giving you 500. Take my money and shut up. <laughs> Sucker. No. He ain't getting it. You owe 500. I like that do seven game. He, he had queens full of the do seven. You didn't have aces. Or aces. You didn't have aces. When I called 17,000, you did not have aces. Now you're perfect. The Thank best you. player in the world. Michael, so you did some quick please. calculations and figured that it's much more likely he has queens full than <laughs> <laughs> do seven and folded the two kings face up, right? That's what I mean, all that's I, I did was crush everybody in tournaments and side oh, games. Oh, you're the them. worst. You're an idiot. You're going broke. Just shut up, oh, man. My I love my life. Thank you, God. For I mean, poker. I mean, here's a guy. Here's a guy. Here's a, here's We're a guy. We're talking about that, respect, Phil. You can't keep I mean, saying how good you are. That's I mean, do you think respect. I don't know that's what's going through my it? mind? I know he's got deuce seven or, or queen's full. It's 50-50. When we get back, the best of Dana Workman and the weekly misdeal on Poker Tonight.